Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for stopping by. On this channel, we do a lot of drone-related content, tutorials, videos, drone-related news, as well as other tech-related videos. Today, I wanted to clear up any misunderstandings or concerns about activating your DJI FPV system. This includes activation of your DJI remote controller, DJI FPV goggles, or your DJI FPV air unit. For these components to work properly, they all need to be activated through the DJI Assistant 2 app. FPV version, not the regular version of the DJI Assistant 2 app. If you're new to DJI, you might not know that they have multiple versions of the DJI Assistant 2 app, so you need to ensure you're running the right version for the DJI FPV system. As one example, if the DJI FPV air unit is not activated, the air unit will remain on the public frequency channel and you won't be able to alter functions or switch to other channels. Now, to be fair, DJI did create a video on how to activate these three components and some other DJI FPV related videos as well. But I found DJI kind of breezed through some of the specifics and in turn, I had an issue myself trying to activate one of the components. In short, initially the DJI Assistant 2 wasn't recognizing my FPV remote controller. So I'm hoping this short video helps a few people out. The first thing you need to be clear on is you must download the DJI Assistant 2 DJI FPV series of the app. Previous versions of the DJI Assistant 2 do not work with the DJI FPV system and the components won't be recognized. You'll connect up your FPV goggles or remote controller with a USB-C connector to your computer and it won't find it. When you go to the DJI Digital FPV System product support page, scroll all the way to the bottom and select Downloads. From there, you'll see the DJI Assistant 2 DJI FPV series file for your operating system, either Windows or Mac, as shown here. The current version is version 2.0.0, which appears to have come out July 31st, 2019, looking at the release notes. I'll also leave a link below um, so you have quick access to the DJI download site as well. Because I had previous versions of the DJI Assistant 2 app on my computer uh, for other DJI related products like the Mavic Air, Mavic 2, and Spark, I overlooked the fact that I didn't have the specific DJI FPV series of the DJI Assistant 2 app running on my computer. So make sure you've got the right version running on your computer or none of the DJI FPV system components will be recognized. Now, it's also worth noting that as of this video upload, today, October 23rd, 2019, there is a firmware update for the DJI FPV system. You'll wanna make sure that all the components are running that same firmware version, which is currently firmware version 01.00.00.00, as shown here. When you've logged into the DJI Assistant 2 app, you'll be notified there's a firmware update available for download. So just be sure to grab that update. If you're looking for any of the previously mentioned DJI videos or download links, I'm gonna put those also below, so feel free to check those out. If you have the DJI FPV system or planning to buy it anytime soon, please be sure to leave some comments below as I'd love to hear your experience so far or any issues you may be having. Now, I'm still in the flight sim liftoff at this time, still trying to get my FPV uh, flight skills up to par so I don't crash my FPV right out of the gate. I've got about six hours in at this point and I've got some basic turns and rolls down so far. At this point, I'm able to fly some of the more open free flight courses and liftoff, but still struggling with some of the tighter courses with a lot of trees. Now, along the line of activation, and on a final note, I do have some concerns about why DJI needs uh, consumers to activate their products and provide customer information before you're able to fly or use them. The idea of my personal data being collected and going over to China or a China server or any foreign country doesn't exactly sit well with me, as I'm sure it probably doesn't with many of you as well. Now, there was a recent DJI conference called the Airworks Conference. The conference was held uh, earlier this month on September 24th to the 26th in Los Angeles, California, where one of the keynote speakers was a Mario Rebello, who's DJI's Vice President and Regional Manager for North America. He did speak about data security at the conference, and there does appear to be increased concern about data security with the drone industry. In one quote, Mario states, we have demonstrated that data is not our business. We have handled, I'm sorry, we have handed over control of data to the network, to you, the end user, to manage the data. Now, 
I know Mario's walking the corporate line here and repeating the message I've already seen on the DJI website. You can also see the presentation Mario uh, gave at the DJI Airworks conference by checking out Drone DJ's website. And I'll leave a link to that video below as well if you're interested in what else Mario had to say on data security. DJI, if you're watching, I think many of your consumers have concerns about the activation process. Perhaps you can be a little clear on why the activation process is needed and exactly how you're securing consumer data when you're still requiring the activation process via the DJI Assistant 2 app. Now, if I'm being candid, my concerns aren't directed specifically at DJI. They're geared more towards the uh, country of China where DJI is headquartered. The central government of the People's Republic of China uh, obviously has ultimate authority and control over the state, and that's my real issue here. To be clear, I'm not trying to pick on DJI. There's certainly a growing concern over data security, privacy uh, as technology continues to evolve in any industry. It's a conversation we've been having already, obviously, with Facebook. If you followed the news today, you know Facebook CEO Mark uh, Zuckerberg was in front of Congress earlier today discussing separate but related concerns. And to be clear, I'm all for innovation. I just want to ensure that my data is secure and not falling into the wrong hands or being used for any type of wrongdoing. I'd love to hear your comments on the activation process as well. So feel free to leave your comments below. I'll be sure to read them and uh, respond. If you got any value out of this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. And until next time, happy flying.